This is a demo for the campaign tracker. The first thing I'll need to do when you open it is enable the macros. That'll come up in a yellow bar right here and it says enable content. Once you click that, you'll be able to open the user form. Do that by clicking launch. As you can see, this brings up a box with a lot of fields you can fill out. You can fill out as many as you'd like. The most important ones are the client, the campaign name, and then the budget, which is calculated using the net media budget and net production budget because those are the ones that are used to make the ID that will appear in this box here. I fill out a sample one to show you. So then you can click save and your new ID will populate in this box up here. We go ahead and exit out of the user form to show you where this information is stored. So back in Excel itself, you have the data tab, and you can see all of what we just inputted is now on this sheet. Going back to the user form, I'll show you how to select what we just created, and then you can edit based on the new information you get. You can add markets, add multiple. And also add multiple formats. This brings up a date picker box. And then you fill out the rest of the fields as you expect. Hit save. And it saves it back to where we saw before. All of this has been updated. Then another few things, bring that back up. You can clear it out if you'd like to start over from scratch, or if you want to erase the entire project completely, hit delete. It asks if you're sure. Now it's deleted, no longer in this box, and no longer in the data tab. What's nice about this is it stores it all in this tab, which can be exported and imported into pretty much any CRM system that may be used in the future. Thank you.